Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Tyler McNabb and welcome back to the channel. So today, once again, I've got another video that we're not gonna be doing anything with the quads. Sorry about that, having a couple of those lately, but once again, quads are sitting over here looking pretty. What we are gonna be focusing on is this stuff. So as you can see here, I've got like a 100 foot roll of pecs, couple sticks, got all kinds of fun stuff in these bags, got some pecs tools, got a water spigot, um, a bunch of various plumbing fittings and stuff. And so you may think, why the heck are you making a plumbing video? Well, I'm gonna show you, and you probably already know by the uh, thumbnail, but I bought something new and it's gonna help out a lot with uh, washing the quads and stuff. So my current setup is we've got this uh, old bathroom over here, this old room. Uh, that's where water comes in from the house and goes in. Um, and so that's how we get water in here. Um, and then there's a spigot on the outside of this wall uh, through that door. And so that's where I normally wash quads is I normally wash quads out here in the driveway. Well, um, it's okay, it works fine. However, you know, there's no concrete or anything out there to like wash my jerseys or anything like that. So I've usually got to wash them in the grass and it's just not the easiest. And so um, what we wanted to do, and plus uh, I've got to take the quads from in the building, I got to go out the back. So here's the back of the building. It's got the uh, garage door here. I've got to take them out and go all, push them all the way around, which, you know, not a big deal, but What's gonna make it easier is we're going to run water from in there up into the ceiling all the way over down here, put a spigot on this side of the wall. And so it's gonna come out right about here. And from there, we will have water on this side of the building so I can wash everything all over here. And plus it's nice too, cause um, when I would wash stuff out, uh, out there, water would just kind of sit in the driveway. Whereas here, the ground is sloped and the water will all run off that way. Plus, I've got this little bit of concrete pad where I can go ahead, I can wash my jerseys and all that stuff, and it just makes it a lot easier. So, uh, that's the first part, and that's what I'm gonna kind of time lapse through here today real quick, is running that out. But the second part of this video is going to be the piece of equipment that I bought to ultimately make washing a lot easier than uh, what I currently have. So I'm gonna go through the first part of this video, get everything set up, and then I'll show you the tool that I have. So let's get into it. Okay guys, well we got the water ran yesterday, so I'm in here in the bathroom where the water comes in. We got it ran up here, so this is where I teed in. Got a ball valve going up into the ceiling. Then if we come out here, we can look up there and see the pecs going into the ceiling. And so that actually wasn't too hard. I uh, just had to get up in the ceiling and uh, run the pipe, clamp it up, all that fun stuff. Um, it wasn't too bad though. So uh, I got all that done yesterday. And then um, as you can see the pipe coming out of the ceiling here runs all the way down. I clamped it up super nice, neat and organized. And then we come over here on the wall and it comes right down here and then 
we walk out here, um, I ended up getting the spigot all mounted up. So we got this here, and you saw a video of that running, and then I just put this splitter on it because uh, I'm probably gonna have a couple different uh, things on it. But anyway, that is all done and ready to go. And so now I can show you the um, tool that I'm going to be utilizing with running this over there. And I went ahead, I tested it out yesterday just to make sure it was going to be good and everything was gonna work and it does and so here it is like what the heck is that well this is a giraffe tools electronic or electric pressure washer and so the cool thing about these pressure washers is well first thing it's electric so with that i will never have to worry about gassing the pressure washer up again getting it all set up this will be mounted on the outside of the building permanently and it will be good to go there. And so, also the really cool thing about this is it has a 100 foot pressure washer hose and it's retractable. So I pull out on this hose, it comes out, it locks in, and then when I'm done, I pull it and then it starts to slide back in and it'll roll itself all the way back up and be ready to go. So that is super cool. I tested it out yesterday, like I said, works really well. Um, it comes, this whole unit comes as an assembly. Um, you got the gun here that comes, you put this together. It comes with four different tips here. You have this one, which is called a zero degree. It's basically just a straight bead of water. Not sure why you'd really use that one. But uh, there's that, then you've got the green one is a 25 degree, the orange is a 15 degree, and then your white is a 40 degree. So it comes with those four tips, and then it also comes with a pretty sweet uh, foam cannon. Tested it out, seems to work pretty good. So, and then it comes with a little slot to hold it in. So we have that, and so all that's really left to do is to mount it up. So I'm gonna take it out there i'm gonna mount it up i've got a post um, that i'm going to be burying in the ground and putting a little bit of concrete in there just to make sure it's good and held and then there's a bracket i mount on the post and then the uh, pressure washer slides onto it so i'm going to go through that time lapse time lapse getting that mounted up real quick and then uh, we'll get this thing mounted up plugged in hooked up to the water and uh we'll see how it functions so let's do that real quick Okay guys, well we got it on there. In retrospect, I probably mounted a little bit higher than I should have. Um, sorry, I'm kind of squinting, it's really bright out here. But we got her all mounted up, got it hooked up, got a connecting hose going from there to the spigot. It comes with a little six foot connecting hose, but clearly that wasn't long enough. Um, something you may have noticed when I was digging the hole for this post is I started here. Well, something weird about this building, I guess, when they built it, but right here, so this is probably a good at least a foot out from the foundation. And this is a um, cinder block foundation too. It's not just a concrete slab because this building was built uh, back in the early 90s, I think. But not a concrete slab. There's like a cinder block foundation. But then I started digging a hole here and about six to eight inches down in the ground, I hit, a con I hit like a big chunk of concrete. So who knows? Um, and so I decided to dig a little bit over here and um, yeah, there wasn't any concrete over there, so we were good. Got that all set up, uh, got the hole dug for the post, put a little bit of quick read in there to just make sure it was solid. And of course, she ain't going nowhere, so it's a little bit wiggly just because of how tall it is, but I mean, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good and fine. So we got this thing all mounted up, ready to go. And the only thing I really have left to do to finish this project is I'm going to put an outdoor outlet out here so that way uh, I don't have to run an extension cord. For now, I'm just running an extension cord, but eventually I'll put an outlet somewhere right in here so that way it's just plugged in and I never have to mess with that again. So, um, yeah, here we go. We got this thing all set up. I went ahead and turned the water on so I got water in there. It will prime itself 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, all you really got to do is there's an on off switch on the side so I've got the gun hooked up and everything and so when I turn this on uh, actually let me get okay so I got a tip in the end of it and I went ahead and ran some water through it and get it primed so if I squeeze the trigger a little bit of little bit of water out make sure there's no air bubbles or anything in there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this switch on and it should prime the system so let's do that real quick there we go so we got the system primed now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unroll some of this and then uh, we can I'll show you what it does so if I pull it all the way out here and I let back a little bit of slack it locks in and then we've got you can hear it kick on not too loud and I can do whatever I want so and then when I let off it's going to prime itself back and uh, get ready for the next time I pull the trigger so um, to test this thing out and test out the foam cannon and stuff we are going to go grab my dad's car real quick and uh, it needs a good wash, so I'll probably time lapse going through and washing it. So let's do that real quick. Okay guys, well, this shined her up pretty good. Not too bad for a, a quick uh, spray down soap and scrub. So, uh, ended up working out pretty good. This thing is sweet. And now, I mean, little all the setup I'm ever gonna do is I'm gonna roll the quads out of the garage. I will, for now I'll have to plug it in. And then, you know, if I've gotta get soap or something, I'll get soap, but that's about it. No more setup. This thing's going to chill out here and uh, yeah, be ready to go whenever I need it. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Not a ton of experience yet, but uh, I've watched videos and stuff on it and people really like these things. So I think I'm going to like it as well. And so uh, it should be should be a good tool to use so and we do a lot of pressure washing even with uh like when we go out and ride just on an evening a lot of times i don't like to put the quads up with dirt on them and stuff so even if i can right after we ride i pull them up right out here pull this over spray them off real quick maybe not even a good scrub but just spraying them off so that'll be super nice and so yeah i mean uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video of me putting this together um and using it um, I know this is kind of off uh, off topic of what we usually have on the channel, but I thought it'd make a, a nice video since uh, since I've I've been watching some videos on it, making sure I thought it was going to be the right tool, and I think it is. It definitely doesn't have as much pressure as like my gas. I think my gas one's like 2,800 psi. This one is 2,200 psi, so not nearly as much, but I think it'll still do the job. So. Uh, anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, don't worry, we'll be back on some uh, good quad quad videos here uh, here shortly. So thank you guys for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.